Hello friends, welcome to the lecture on computer assisted audit technique. Today I am covering chapter 1 that is introduction to CAD. I am Chandesh Shagda mentoring this session. First of all, what exactly is CAD? CAD stands for computer aided audit technique. It will be defined in a very simpler term. Com first C stands for computer means we are taking uh, we are performing the process on computer with the help of computer that means aided and the core part is we will perform the audit via certain set of techniques so t stands for technique so c a a t stands for computer aided audit technique the definition part exactly is computer aided audit technique is the practice of using computer to automate the audit process. Another word I can define that CAT simply says that we have to automate the audit process, but we will process, uh, we will perform the audit on computer like maybe. Okay, next is how this paradigm shift took place from an era of tick to click. Earlier, the audits were performed using a pencil or a paper but now the audit were performed using a computer like media or with the help of clicking operation using a mouse so we can say that there is a paradigm shift from an era of tick to click or cat enables the auditor to move from tick to click Next is what is financial audit? As per the definition derived by the FX body of accounting, that is Institute of Chartered Accountant of India, that a financial audit is an independent examination of financial information of an entity, whether it is profit oriented, whether it is irrespective of size or legal form. But after the examination will be conducted, being an auditor, you have to express your opinion. That you have to give your audit findings, you have to give your audit conclusion or audit recommendations. Before proceeding further to the core part, just describe this picture. If you will say, many of you will say that bottles are lying on the floor. When I'll, I'll elaborate this picture, then many of say will that bottles are not lying on the floor. Instead of that, people are doing the prayer. The moral of the story is what is obvious may not be the same or the whole picture. Being an auditor, you have to remember that sometimes what is real is not apparent. Another time, what is apparent may not be real. Being a data, you must bear in mind that you are not supposed to create anything new. You are supposed to validate or verify the existing one. Next is why the CAT term has been coined. There are a number of reasons for using CAT. The reasons are First is absence of input document or lack of a visible transaction trail. This simply means this requires the use of CAT in the application of compliances or substantive procedure. Next is the second prime reason is of using CAT if we wish to use the information from the system having different software and hardware platforms, different data structure and we want to put all the data from the heterogeneous platform into a commonly used format. So this is CAT software. We can use CAT software for performing all these. Third reason is to increase the quality 
and comply with the auditing standards. And last but not least, that is to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of the audit process. Next, what are the key capabilities of CAT? First capability, as already I told you in the previous slide, that accessing is very, very important part. So capability again, file accessing is the very important ability. This refers to the capability of accessing the data from the different platforms, different architecture into a commonly used format. Next is file reorganization. If an auditor wishes to see the instant view of the data with the help of linking, merging, indexing, sorting, he can perform the file or reorganization capability to do the same. Third is data selection. Data selection simply means one can apply the filtering criteria for the selecting selecting of data. Fourth is statistical function. Auditor can perform stratification. Next is statistical function. With the help of CAT, auditor can perform the statistical function like stratification, sampling, frequency analysis for the intelligent analysis of the data. And last is arithmetic function means with the help of arithmetic function we can do the recomputation and the re-performance of results. Okay, now the next topic is uh, precaution in using CAT. You already seen in the previous slide that CAT has CAT has given a distinct advantages to the auditors, but auditor needs to be take care of certain precautions while using the CAT software. The certain precautions are first is identify the correct data to be audited. Means whatever the data they want to be audited that should be that should be correct in every aspect second is the to collect the relevant and correct data files third is identify all the important fields that need to be accessed from the system and last not least ensure that the data analysis is relevant and complete means whatever the auditor using the data analysis technique that should be relevant as well as complete in all aspect. Next topic of discussion is step-by-step uh, -step methodology for using CAT. As you are aware of the fact that CAT is the critical tool of for the auditor, some of the key strategy for using CAT software are First is identify the scope and objectives of the audit. Based on this, auditor can decide the need and the extent of CAT usage. Second is identify the critical data to be analysis which is being audited as per the audit standards. Third is identify the sources of data that sources of data may be related to journal ledger, inventory, payroll, sundry creditors, sundry creditors, etc. And last is identify the personnel responsible for the data and the information system. This could be from the IT department, vendor, manager, etc. Next is example of the test performed using CAT software. CAT software can be used for the compliances 
एंड द सब्सटेंटिव टेस्ट सब कंप्लाइंसेस मींस एज पर द स्टैंडर्ड एंड सब्सटेंटिव मींस एज पर द एविडेंस वी कैन टेक द एग्जांपल ऑफ द टेस्ट व्हिच कैन बी परफॉर्मड यूजिंग कैट सॉफ्टवेयर दैट आर एज बिलो फर्स्ट इज आइडेंटिफाई द एक्सेप्शन we can identify the exception based on some criteria like the cash transaction next is identify the error means to identify the data which is inconsistent or errorless for example we have to identify the account number which is not numeric third is statistical sampling it simply means that we have to apply a statistical techniques to identify the sample as required fourth is very very important that is detect the fraud because cat is the very powerful software to identify the potential areas of frauds verify the calculations it means we have to recompute the calculations in the audit software like the tds apply as per the criteria sixth is data completeness it means data should be it means the fields it means all the fields should have the valid data and last is inventory obsoleteness it means we have to identify we have to sort the inventory based on some aging criteria or we have to we have to sort the inventory based on tell the end what identify the inventory that has become obsolete next is audit evidence in a cat audit is primarily said to be the process of collecting and evaluating the audit evidence as per the audit objective based on the scope and the objectives of the audit auditor can obtain the audit evidence by inspection observation recalculations uh, computations and by applying some analytical procedures so these are some of the audit evidence techniques next is cat documentation cat documentation is basically a three step process first is planning it means that cat is to be used cat objectives cat softwares staffing requirement all comes under this planning second is execution it means the details of inputs processing part and the output and second is the details of all the test performed that all comes under this step that is execution and last is audit evidence it means we have it means the documentation should include the output produce audit findings audit conclusion and last is audit recommendations next is audit sampling auditor has to design and select an audit sample and evaluate the or evaluate the sample results whatever the sampling technique either statistical or non statistical auditor should design and select the audit sample perform the audit procedure and evaluate the sample results to obtain sufficient reliable relevant and useful audit evidence 
audit sampling is of two types one is statistical sampling and second is non statistical sampling statistical is of again two types one is random sampling and second is systematic sampling non statistical again of two type one is haphazard and second is judgmental sampling so first we will make the difference between statistical sampling and non statistical sampling statistical sampling involves the use of technique from which mathematical constructed conclusion regarding the population can be drawn and in case of non statistical that is not statistically based and result should not be extrapolated over the population as the sample is unlikely to be the representative of the population statistical sampling is of again two type types one is random and second is systematic random means ensure the all the combinations of sampling unit in the population should have an equal chance of selection and systematic means we have to involve the selecting sample unit by using a fixed interval between the selection in case of non statistical sampling one is haphazard and second is judgmental haphazard simply says that is auditor places selects the sample without following a structured technique which avoids any predictability and second is judgmental sampling the is auditor places a bias on the sample with a certain value call for a specific type of exception thanks a lot wish you best of luck for your future endeavors